Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into CryptoHopper, one of the most popular crypto trading bots that lets you trade 24 seven without constantly monitoring the charts. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, this platform can help you automate trades, manage risks, and optimize your strategies with ease. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create an account, navigate the platform, and understand each feature step by step. By the end, you'll know exactly how to set up your trading bot, configure strategies, and start automating your trades like a pro. So if you're ready to take your crypto trading to the next level, stick around and let's get started. First of all, click the link in the description to sign up for Crypto Hopper for free. This will take you to the sign up page where you'll see a button that says start free trial. Click on it to begin the process. After clicking, you'll be directed to the account creation page. Here, you'll need to enter your username, email, and password to create your account. Now, alternatively, if you want to speed things up, you can sign up directly using your Google, Facebook, or Apple account. Once you've filled in your details, click sign up. After signing up, you'll land on a page that says start onboarding. This is the setup process that includes several steps. Entering your personal information, selecting and connecting an exchange, choosing a bot, configuring the bot settings, and finally starting your trading journey. You can either complete these steps now or skip them, but I'll go through the full process to show you how to get started. The first step is entering your personal information. Here, you'll need to fill in your full name, select your country of residence, and choose your country of origin. After entering these details, click Continue. Next, you'll be asked to choose a cryptocurrency exchange to connect with CryptoHopper. There are multiple exchanges to choose from, such as Binance, Coinbase Pro, Qcoin, Kraken, OKX, and many more. For this tutorial, I'll select OKX. Once you've chosen your exchange, the next step is to connect it to CryptoHopper. This is done by creating an API key on your exchange account, which allows CryptoHopper to place trades on your behalf. The platform provides step-by-step -step instructions for each exchange, so don't worry, it's easy to follow. To connect your exchange, you'll need to enter three things, an API key, an API secret, and an API passcode, which is optional. Once you've entered these details, click Connect. Your exchange is now linked, and CryptoHopper can start executing trades based on your bot settings. If you're not ready to connect an exchange yet, you can switch to paper trading instead. Paper trading is a risk-free way to test CryptoHopper's features using virtual funds, so you can experiment without investing real money. To enable paper trading, click on Switch to Paper Trading. A confirmation box will appear, asking if you want to switch to paper trading or connect an exchange. Click Yes, Switch to Paper Trading. Now you need to select a base currency. This is the currency your bot will use to trade. You can choose from multiple options like Bitcoin, BTC, Ethereum, ETH, USDT, Tether, and more. For this tutorial, I'll select USDT, then click Continue. Next, CryptoHopper will ask you to select a bot type. There are different types of bots, each designed for different trading strategies. You can explore the options and choose one that fits your trading style. After that, you'll be asked to choose a subscription plan. CryptoHopper offers several paid plans with advanced features, but if you just want to test the platform, you can skip the subscription and start trading manually. To do this, simply click on Skip Subscription. Once that's done, you'll be redirected to the CryptoHopper dashboard. The dashboard serves as the control center for your automated trading platform where you manage everything from setting up strategies to monitoring trades. The first step in ensuring your bot functions efficiently is configuring it properly, and that's where the configuration panel comes in. This panel consists of four key sections, base config, config pools, signals, and triggers. Since base config is the most fundamental part of setting up a trading strategy, we'll focus on that in this guide. Clicking on Base Config opens a submenu with multiple sections, which you can navigate freely without losing modifications. However, saving changes before exiting is crucial to ensure they take effect. Enabling the advanced slider at the top unlocks additional customization options, allowing for a more refined strategy. You can also save your current settings as a template, 
which is useful for experimenting with different configurations while keeping a backup. For this tutorial, we'll use the paper trader mode, which simulates trades without using real money, making it a safe way to test your setup. The first step in setting up your base config is naming your hopper, which helps in managing multiple configurations. For this tutorial, we'll name it Tutorial Hopper. Next, you need to select your exchange. Since we're in paper trading mode, it will be set to paper trading, meaning no real funds are involved. You also have the option to receive email notifications about trades and errors, which can be helpful in tracking performance, though they may become overwhelming over time. Managing funds is an essential part of the setup, the quote currency represents the asset in which your funds are stored. For example, if you have 0.5 BTC, your quote currency is Bitcoin. If you have $5,000 in USDT, then USDT is your quote currency. Once selected, clicking change applies the modification. The next step is choosing which cryptocurrencies your bot is allowed to trade. Instead of selecting all available coins, it's advisable to focus on high market cap and liquid assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Binance Coin. You also need to allocate funds for trading. If you have 1 BTC but only want to allocate 0.5 BTC for trading, entering 0.5 in the maximum BTC amount allocated field ensures the bot never exceeds this limit. Additionally, setting the maximum number of open trades is crucial. A good starting point is allowing 5 to 10 simultaneous trades. If 0.5 BTC is allocated and 10 trades are permitted, each trade should ideally use 0.05 BTC. You can also set a minimum trade amount to ensure that each order meets a certain size, preventing excessively small trades. Configuring buy settings allows you to control how your bot purchases assets. You can set a custom bid price, but for now we'll leave it blank and let the strategy determine the optimal price. Another setting, maximum open time to buy ensures that buy orders don't remain open indefinitely, with 10 minutes being a reasonable default. To avoid excessive exposure to a single asset, setting a limit on open positions per coin is recommended. If trading five different coins with a total of 10 trades, limiting open positions per coin to 20% ensures a maximum of two trades per coin. You can also decide whether to allow multiple orders per coin. For simplicity, we'll allow only one open trade per coin. Enabling positive pairs. Only ensures that the bot buys only when market momentum is positive, reducing the risk of buying into a declining trend. To prevent excessive high frequency trading, setting a cool down period between trades is also advisable. 10 minutes should suffice. A well-defined strategy is crucial for effective trading. You can choose between creating a custom strategy, using a third party strategy, or subscribing to external trading signals. Trailing stop buy is an advanced feature under the buy settings that allows the bot to track the currency price as it moves downward before making a purchase. This option helps in optimizing entry points by ensuring that the bot does not buy too early when a price is still declining. When enabled, the bot waits for the price to drop by a specified percentage before executing a buy order. This percentage is defined in the trailing stop buy percentage field. For example, if the trailing stop buy percentage is set to 2%, the bot will continuously follow the price downward and only place a buy order once the price starts recovering by 2% from its lowest point. Selling settings determine how and when the bot exits trades, offering multiple configurations to maximize profits and minimize risks. The first setting is the sell setting, where traders can define a take profit percentage, select an order type, and set a maximum open time for selling. For this tutorial, we'll configure take profit at 2.5%, meaning the bot will automatically sell once a trade gains 2.5%. The order type determines whether the sell order is placed as a market or limit order, while the max open time ensures that trades don't remain open indefinitely. Next is the sell strategy, which includes three toggle options. Sell based on strategy, allowing the bot to follow predefined selling conditions. Only sell in profit, ensuring trades aren't closed at a loss. And hold assets when the new target is the same, preventing unnecessary trades when the price remains within the same range. To prevent significant losses, enabling a stop loss is essential. A stop loss percentage can be set, for example, at 10%. 
meaning the bot will sell if the price drops 10% below the purchase price. A stop loss timeout can also be configured to delay execution, avoiding unnecessary exits due to short term volatility. A more dynamic option is the trailing stop loss, which helps secure profits as the price rises. When enabled, it follows the price upwards and only triggers a sell when the price reverses by a set percentage. For instance, if the trailing stop loss percentage is set to 1% and it's armed at 2%, the bot will activate trailing when the price rises 2% above the purchase level and sell only if the price falls 1% from its peak. Additional settings include a timeout to prevent premature exits, an option to use trailing stop loss exclusively, disabling take profit, resetting stop loss after failed orders, and restricting sales to only when a profit is secured. The auto close feature automatically closes positions after a set amount of time, which can help exit stagnant trades but may lead to unnecessary losses if the market hasn't recovered. For traders using short positions, the shorting settings allow for specific configurations to optimize short trades. Lastly, dollar cost averaging DCA, is an option where the bot doubles or triples its holding of a losing asset to lower the average purchase price, increasing the chances of recovering losses when the price rebounds. Once all settings are configured, clicking save finalizes the base config setup. The bot is now ready for simulated trading. Now let's talk about the marketplace section in CryptoHopper which offers various tools and resources to enhance automated trading. Users can browse through different options, including templates, strategies, and signals to optimize their trading experience. Templates provide ready-made bot configurations, allowing traders to quickly set up their bots without manual adjustments. Strategies define how a bot analyzes market trends and executes trades, either through pre-built or custom strategies. Signals come from external providers, helping bots make informed buy or sell decisions. Copy bots enable users to replicate the trading strategies of successful traders, while portfolio bots help diversify investments automatically across multiple assets. Additional tools and integrations can be found in the app section to enhance trading capabilities. Gift cards allow users to purchase or redeem crypto hopper services, and the deals section features special promotions discounts, or limited time offers. The marketplace is a valuable resource for both beginners and experienced traders, providing easy access to pre-configured tools that can improve trading efficiency. Overall, CryptoHopper provides a powerful and user-friendly platform for automated crypto trading, making it easier for traders to execute strategies without constant monitoring. A solid strategy involves setting a reasonable take profit percentage implementing stop loss and trailing stop loss to minimize risks, and leveraging signals and indicators to refine trade execution. Using dollar cost averaging, DCA, for risk management and periodically optimizing strategies based on market trends can further improve performance. By combining these elements, traders can maximize profits while keeping risks under control, making CryptoHopper an effective tool for both new and experienced users in the crypto space. CryptoHopper offers different pricing plans, starting with the free Pioneer plan, which includes unlimited copy bots, portfolio management, and manual trading with up to 20 open positions per exchange. The Explorer plan, priced at $24.16 per month when billed annually, adds features like market scanning, backtesting, and a strategy designer supporting 80 open positions. The Adventurer plan costs $57.50 per month, and increases the number of open positions to 200 while reducing the strategy interval checks and adding more scanning power. The Hero Plan, at $107.50 per month, offers advanced features like AI strategies, arbitrage, and extra technical indicators, supporting up to 500 open positions and 65 portfolio bots. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced trader, CryptoHopper provides flexible options to match different trading needs. Click on the link in the description to start for free and explore the platform's full potential.